Do you have your EpiPen with you all the time? They get constant reminding. 14-year-old Christian and 12-year-old Tyler Lum are well aware of how to survive severe food allergies. Can't have pizza, I can't have cheese, I can't have ice cream. These brothers are allergic to milk, peanuts, seafood, and sesame seeds. It's so extreme, just touching an offending substance can cause symptoms. Someone spilled milk or something. I don't remember much, but I got like hives. It's like a bad rash. The boys carry pens filled with epinephrine or EpiPens just in case. Their parents know they can never be too cautious. It takes a lot of planning. So like Randall and I will go to the restaurant first, talk to the chef, and then um, then we, if they can do it, then we have the kids come and go to the restaurant. Food allergies have been increasing at a rapid rate over uh, the past 10 years. Allergist Dr. Katie Mark says many people don't realize how quickly food allergies can kill. Dr. Mark says a mild reaction once before doesn't mean it won't be dangerous the next time. In seconds, allergens can swell tissue and constrict airways, but that's not all. Your cardiovascular system can what, what we call collapse, and basically that means you're in shock. Again, it's unpredictable. If someone is getting a severe allergic reaction to food, they might want to wait around to see how bad it actually is. But Dr. Mark says you don't want to wait to use your EpiPen because that could be dangerous. And so the way to use it really is just pull off the safety cap and in place this onto the thigh. After using an EpiPen, experts say go to the ER. A third of patients have a second reaction. Life-threatening foods may be everywhere, but the Lums plan and prepare. They don't let fear rule their lives. Food is, is something to get by and to, to live. It's not, it's not your life. I just think about all the good things in life, like have a nice house, go to nice school. Having food allergies mean you never take anything for granted. In Torrance, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.